Hi everyone, welcome back to Chindan Logics. In this session, we'll be going to discuss 15th April current affairs. And apart from this, even if you want to watch Telugu current affairs, go through Chindan Logics Telugu YouTube channel. There will be uploading Telugu current affairs on daily basis. And apart from this, even if you want to get a PDFs of current affairs and even try to join through our Telegram channel, so how to get access of this current affair PDFs? Here is a solution that just once you go through the description, there will be providing a link and click on the link and just join through our Telegram channel so that to get any updates and as well as the information based on our regarding Chandan logics. And apart from this, even if you are more interested, some of like you were interested like giving some of the ideas even regarding the sessions. So regarding current affairs, if you were more interested, just try to mention in comment section if you want any other more information or any other particular concept. So based on the majority, even will be looking further to, to give you particular information based on that particular concept. Are you clear everyone? And then. Even regarding this live interactive sessions, if you have any doubts, just go through the comment section and even after mentioning in the comment section about your particular doubt. So that I'll be going through it. If it is possible, I'll be clarifying in this particular session itself. Are you clear? And then even regarding as well as the other interactive sessions, even if you want to like clarify your doubts regarding other subjects, even we'll be planning like in the further upcoming sessions based on as you people know that even Chandan sir is also on the live even from the past one month, right? So as at least weekly ones will be coming and interacting with you people just to clarify your doubts. And apart from this, even as I have already informed, if you want to download the PDFs and also to get updates regarding any of your examination no important notices or else some of the day in the history, is it clear? So this is the information we'll be providing there. And try to share this video and try to share this live interactive session with your friends and don't forget to click the like button. And now, let me begin the session here. Now, in this particular session, we'll be going to discuss descriptive concepts and as well as practice questions. And also, while we are discussing the descriptive session, I'll be raising the questions. Just you people try to answer for those questions too. And as well as, as I have informed in our previous class, today in our practice session, even we'll be going to do the questions based on the concept called the static GK that is all about national parks. Here I'll be going to discuss in our today's session all the three format of questions, how from the concept called national parks the questions can be raised. So that is my main objective and also even to give you an overview about the format of questions too, not only about the concept but including how the format can be raised in your examination. Are you clear everyone? And now let us begin our session and first concept let me begin with national news. First let me check if you have any doubts regarding the previous session. Yes, good evening everyone. And now let me begin the, with the concept. Here, before going to know, in, uh, that is before going to enter into the concept, first let me know how you are perfect with the government missions and the government schemes. This is under the central government scheme. Here comes to all about the, which is known as Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhyan, RGSA. What it actually represents, Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhyan. So what is the objective to launch this and which year it has been launched? Just try to mention in comment section. Yes, good evening Sirisha. And try to mention for this particular question. What is this particular scheme? This is all about Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhyan. If you are an, a, a, aware of this particular concept, just mention in comment section at least the launched year or established year of the scheme called Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhyan. And then, now if we move into the concept here, all you have to concentrate is here particularly it is in current affair because about this the other the, and the scheme called Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhyan, here this has been extended for four more years that is from 2022 to 2026. So this is the extension period recently the government of India has been decided and also by allocating certain amount of project and, the, and you have to concentrate here what is the amount of budget allocated for this particular scheme called Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhyan with the title itself at least you have got an idea I hope so that so let me look into the comment section no one of you have mentioned regarding this particular concept called Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhyan 
So what is the title itself here? Rashtri Gram Swaraj. This is all about Panchayat Raj institutions. The scheme will be going to cover about the Panchayat Raj institutions. And here comes to amount allocated is rupees 5,911 crores have been allocated by the Cabinet Committee on the Economic Affairs for the continuation of a particular scheme called Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhiyan. And if you can focus here, what is the objective? Here the main objective of this particular scheme is all about developing Panchayat Raj institutions and the governance capabilities. Here you need to know, according to the amendment called 73rd amendment, as we know that and here which actually deals with all about the Panchayat Raj institutions. Even in India, that means central government, it has been come up with the three tier system. Even like the central state and also, even you can consider here the district wise, Zilla Parishad and also including the Panchayat Raj institutions. So here, you have to remember about the 73rd amendment, which actually deals regarding the Panchayat Raj institutions in the constitution of India. And apart from this, now just now as I have informed that Rashri Gram Swaraj which particularly focusing about the development of the rural areas and also here you need to consider the extension period is for 4 years because in the year 2022 actually it has to be ended because if you know at about the starting year or else the established year is 2018. So at the period of establishment they have launched it and informed that this is the scheme for the 4 years from 2018 to 2022. Actually in the year 2022 it has to be end. Are you clear? But now it is in current affair that again in the year 2022 it has been extended. That means it has been resumed for four more years which is till 2026 the particular scheme called Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhiyan has been extended till 2026 and with the amount allocated is all about 5,911 crore rupees. Are you clear with this particular concept? Because why it has been in the continuation of the extension? Because in the year 2022, according to the launch of 2018, they have, that means government of India has been decided this is only for the next four years that is till 2022. But regarding some of the reasons here, again that is focusing on the development of the rural area Areas, particularly the Panchayat Raj institutions and the villages. Here it has been extended the scheme for another four years. Are you clear? And you need to concentrate here. The answer for your question is Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhiyan has been established in the year 2018. And here comes to the word called revamped Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhiyan. What is the terminology which represents revamped? Revamped is nothing but which is used to reconstruct or else just now as I have said that it has been extended, right? So this is all about re or else you can consider it as reconstructing the particular scheme. Again, this will be going to in continuation. And even if the main objective of this particular scheme called Rashtri's Gram Swaraj Abhiyan is all about, even this is focusing on nearly in India, 2.78 that is regarding the lack rural lo local bodies, which is to objective is all about to reach the sustainable development goals. As we know that regarding United Nations, it has been set at some of the set sustainable development goals. And also in this, India is also a part and also has kept them some, some targets. So to reach these targets, even in the rural areas, it, along with this, under this particular scheme called R R RGSA, and here you need to consider is along with this, the revamped RGSA will ensure the development that happens in the villages and also this will bring the present gap between and also bridge the gap between the rural areas and the present urban areas. So with this overall objective, Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhiyan has been extended. And also this is focusing on empowering the elected representatives of Panchayat Raj institutions and also focusing on their leadership roles. So this is all about the particular scheme. Are you clear with the scheme? Why it is in current affair? Because in the year 2022, it has to be end. But again, the government of India, Union Cabinet has been decided to extend it for four more years by allocating the amount of 5,911 crore rupees. Are you clear with the concept everyone? Yes, let me check if you have any doubts. Sahana 2018. Yes, RGSA scheme has been established in the year 2019. And now, let me move into the next concept regarding summits and conferences. So here comes to all about Amrit Samagam. Try to mention in comment section, what is the meaning of Samagam? 
are you clear just know the meaning of samagam and try to mention in comment section because the basic ideology you need to have while regarding we have discussed certain concepts because with the titles and the with the meanings if you were perfect then even this can be helpful for your vocabulary that means even in the english language too even many of your examinations will be having a particular concept called english right so even there you can be helpful like regarding the antonyms synonyms whenever you'll be perfect with the meanings and then here comes to all about amrit samagam conference of tourism and culture ministries here this is all about to look over the address and also to look over the progress of azadika amrit mahotsav here azadika amrit mahotsav is also represented as akham and here which comes to the amrit samagam here the two ministries were played an important role what are the two ministries the first comes to ministry of culture and the second is ministry of tourism these were the two ministries which played an important role for conducting a conference called amrit samagam and here comes to the that is regarding a scheduled period for this amrit samagam conference is which has been scheduled on 12th and 13th of april here actually this is a two day conference which was hosted by the ministry of culture and this is as the part of azadika amrit mahotsav and also the main objective to conduct this conference is to look over and also to look over the goal called and also the progress of azadika amrit mahotsav as we know that india is celebrating 75 years of independence right so according to these celebrations even amrit samagam is one of the conference recently it has been took place on April 12th and April 13th of 2022 now let me check how many of you have mentioned regarding samagam suhan good evening suhan okay it's meeting prashant samagam which means meeting okay try to share this live interactive sessions with all your friends so that they can get benefited and they can raise their doubts and they can clarify in the session itself because many of your friends were unaware about this live interactive sessions and at the end of the session don't forget to click the like button yes ramakrishna combined lakshmi which means meeting yes here samagam is a samagam which means together yes all you have answered it perfectly which is all about like meeting together and also if you can consider like it is a conference right amrit samagam which is all about azadika amrit mahotsav right so to know the progress of this particular celebrations here a conference has been conducted samagam means together are you clear and also if you can consider the simple like other in a official language it is actually considered as meeting are you clear so samagam even you can cover it as under together or else meeting is it clear so this is all about samagam what will be the main decisions so based on what prashant something the, the the doubt you have raised is what will be the main discussion so based on what you have raised the doubt just let me know in detail regarding our sessions or what and then here in this conference like they'll be focusing on certain programs here you can consider like some of the indian national regarding the programs called india's independence of 75 years right so in these 75 years what are the areas they used to actually develop in india and also as a part of azadika amrit mahotsav some of the celebrations has been done like year long so based on those year long celebrations some of the initiatives and the schemes also brought under the under the initiative called azadika amrit mahotsav so in this celebrations that means the progress of all this they'll be going to make a discussion are you clear prashant so based on this 75 years of independence of india actually even for the past year also they have been, india has been conducting certain certain regarding the cultural traditions and also certain programs and the initiatives government of india has came up so based on all this the progress they'll be going to discuss in this particular meeting and the conference which actually took part on 12th and 13th april are you clear everyone i know let me move to the next concept called sports news and here is an one important most interesting question how many of you were aware about the concept called commonwealth games because in our today's session i'll be going to discuss the concept under commonwealth games even as we know that try to mention in comment section 
Yes, Suresh Ramavat, at what time you'll come to online? Please, can you say me time? Yes. Yes, Suresh, every day at 4.30, we'll be coming into the live, which is regarding our current affairs session. So, you can join through us and also share to your friend Suresh. Yes, live class daily, it, it will be conducting at, you can consider here at 4.30 p.m. Yes, you can join through our live sessions and also you can share this particular information to all your friends regarding the live interactive sessions. Yes, try to answer every, try to answer regarding what is the information do you have about Commonwealth Games and here at least try to mention for how many years, at least once Commonwealth Games has been conducted. Are you clear? For how many years? Is it for two years, three years or four years or for, for once in every five years? Let's try to mention for this particular question everyone, Commonwealth Games, at least if you have any idea regarding Commonwealth Games. Yes, all countries involved in Commonwealth Games and many games are there in this competition. Yes, Lakshmi. And even try to mention for how many years once the Commonwealth Games has been conducted. Ramakrishna for four years, Mahesh four years, Suhan four years. Yes, let me look how many of you will answer perfectly. Yes, Manasa <coughs> four years, Suhan. Lakshmi, 40 for 4 years. Yes, Nagaraju, 4 years. Because in our today's session, we will be going to discuss even about Commonwealth Games. Sahana, 4 years. Yes, Prashant, Commonwealth Games is an international multi-sport events involving athletes from different countries. Pavan Kumar, 4 years. Yes, Prashant, what is your doubt? What is the last year of conducting the games, ma'am? Regarding what? Regarding Commonwealth Games. First, if you need to answer regarding for how many years once Commonwealth Games can be conducted, so that you can come to know in the previous for which year it has been took place. And even in 2022 also, the games will be going to conduct. And even we'll be discussing about the host places too. But first, let you people answer about this particular question. Yes, here my question is all about simple for how many years Commonwealth Games can be conducted. So, Olympic Games, Commonwealth Games, no, Mahesh, these were the two different games, Olympics Games were different and as well as Commonwealth Games were different. Australia will hold, Srinivas, Australia will hold 2026, yes, the main concept we'll be going to discuss today all about Commonwealth Games and the hosting countries. So, here, why actually regarding Commonwealth Games today I will be going to discuss. So, the, here it is all about recently the announcement has been made officially that Victoria State of Australia will be going to host 2026 Commonwealth Games and also here you need to consider as all above 2018 Commonwealth Games. Here 2018 also the Australia hosted the games at the, on the Gold Coast and in the year 2006 edition of the games was hosted in Melbourne. So here you can consider this for the third time Australia is hosting these particular games called Commonwealth Games and in Australia the state called Victoria is going to host 2026 Commonwealth Games. Then what about 2022 Commonwealth Games? Here comes to all about 2022 Commonwealth Games which has been scheduled in the month of July to August which is on 28th July to 8th August of 2022 which are going to take place at Birmingham, England. So here England will be going to host in this particular year that is Commonwealth Games. Previously and Prashant Reddy some of you have Prashant Reddy or someone has raised regarding 
what is the last year of the conducting games right 2018 is the last time commonwealth game has been conducted and now after four years again the 2022 the games were going to take place in this particular year where will be conducted this particular so here comes 2022 is in england england is, england is going to host at Birmingham. are you clear about regarding the location too yes pavitra every four years fine and good many of you have mentioned a perfect answer regarding commonwealth games here actually commonwealth games is nothing but is also referred as the friendly games and also this is an international multi-sport event which is actually held for every four years and also here which involves the athletes participating from different nations so this is all about the commonwealth games and also here you have to consider for the first time commonwealth games such games were held in the year 1930 and you need to consider for every four years commonwealth games can be conducted and also previously in the year 2018 the games has been conducted in australia and now in the 2022 in england these games will be going to connect in the month of july are you clear with this particular concept yes nivedita four years okay fine and good I now let me move into the next concept under important days. So here comes before going to move into the concept called important days. Days. Let me discuss about Jillian Wallabhak massacre. How many of you were aware about this incident? And this is one of the you can consider here regarding the Indian history. This is one of the darkest part of our country's history. All about Jillian Wallabhak massacre. Just let me know how many of you were ab aware about the particular concept called Jillian Wallabhak. And here comes to the current affair. I'll be going to discuss today is all about Jalian Wallabag massacre. Because on April 13th, actually in the year 1919, which is also known as Jalian Wallabag massacre or, or else Amritsar massacre. Even you can consider here, this is actually a fine day of Baisakhi, where this is the harvest festival in, that is in the state of Pancha called Amritsar. So on this fine day, many people has gathered at the garden called Jalian Wallabag. And here comes to the concept is all about, yes, Sahana, 1919, April 13. Yes, Shivasai, if you have, if you were perfect with this Jelly and Wallabak, just try to mention comment section regarding Rowlett Act. So actually, here comes to all about the arrest and the protest all Indians has been made at Jillian Wallabag Garden. And then here comes to you can consider here is to this date, one of the country's darkest day in the history is Jillian Wallabag. Actually, on this particular day, General Dyer of the British Empire ordered the troops to fire upon all the people who were protesting peacefully at the Jillian Wallabag Garden, which is at Amritsar. And also, the firing of the troops killed around 379 people and also the entire nation was shocked due to this incident. Even regarding, till now also there is no perfect picture how many people has lost their lives regarding this particular incident. And also, yes, Nayani, as you have mentioned, what is the purpose of gathering here? Yes, here is a purpose of gathering is all about on this particular day, as, you, as if you can move to the historical background. There were the two persons called along with that, even th actually the two Indian freedom fighters has been arrested. So as the protest of this and also to celebrate the festival called Baisakhi within the state of Punjab, they used to call it as harvest festival or as the new year. So on this Baisakhi, all the people have gathered there as actually on that before day, as like according to the British statements, so the British Empire has been given that already we have announced that there should not be any public gathering or else any public meetings. But here innocent Indians actually they don't know all about this gatherings and the rules so they have gathered there and suddenly as you can know that Jillian Wallaba garden is having the only one exit gate so even after entering by this general dia into this particular garden and he just shut down that all or only the one gate and also here no other Indian can run out of that and also here general dia has ordered his troops for 10 minutes for shooting so according to the British Empire 
official data it has been only 379 but also even government of india has been act that means later at that particular time the government also has made a commission or else committee called hunter committee so this hunter committee actually made a report which is based on all about jellian wallabag incident and also you need to consider here there is a well in the jellian wallabag many people because of fear even both men and as well as women has sacrificed their life and also got attacked in this particular incident called jellian wallabag incident and also many of the people has been even run and also they have fallen into that well also so according to some of the inscriptions regarding indian national congress announced that 1000 people has been killed and also 1500 people has been injured regarding this jellian wallabag incident. incident until now it is also no more official data how many has been actually injured and also fired yes after that udham singh came and fired dyer who is indian vice president also at the time of act here comes to as we know that even regarding many of the like you can consider here regarding the jellian wallabag incident there were many acts and also here you have to focus on like regarding the mahatma gandhi and also as we have know that saifuddin kichlu so the arrest of saifuddin kichlu and also along with him as the many like you can consider here because of their arrest the protest has been made at jellian wallabag and the general dyer has been actually here main road who has has been announced about the shooting of indians and now yes let me look into the concept here all about jellian wallabag massacre because on 13th april it has marked 103 years in the year 2022 it has been took place in the year 1919 and here moving to the concept here the entire country was in the shock which is to a standstill position all about the incident because many of the innocent indians has been sacrificed their lives so particularly to pay the tribute for this indians who has sacrificed in the incident called jellian wallabag incident so this particular day has been celebrated in india and also as a memory and also to pay the tribute that is regarding the incident which took place 1 not 3 years ago this is all about jellian wallabag massacre which took place on april 13th of 1919 and now let me move to the next concept here other important day is ambedkar jayanti of 2022 which took place on 14th of april as we well known about dr b r ambedkar dr bhimrao ramji ambedkar who has been got and the birth anniversary is on 14th of april as a well known person remembering dr b r ambedkar as the father of indian constitution and as well as as we know that even the person who is actually fought for the dalit rights and as well as including if we can move to the historical background and the areas if we can know interesting facts about dr b r ambedkar is all about even he has awarded the country's highest civilian honor is bharat ratna in the year 1990 posthumously and then try to mention in comment section what does the terminology which means posthumously just define in the comment section in a one word are you clear what does posthumously means here bharat ratna for dr bhimrao ambedkar in the year 1990 has been conferred posthumously are you clear because many number of times you can come across the word called posthumously just i'll be going through your comments and then next moving to the concept here about this event regarding the ambedkar jayanti has been declared as an official public holiday throughout the india since the year 2015 it has been declared as an official public holiday and you have to consider here as i have just discussed dr even b r ambedkar has been considered as the father of indian constitution and also here you can consider regarding after the independence of india the person has been acted as the first law and justice minister of the country called india after the independence so these are some of the historical areas you need to know about dr b r ambedkar on his birth anniversary which is on 14th of april yes here posthumously which means award given after the death posthumously which means after the death of the originator yes the awards you can consider here one of the highest civilian award is bharat ratna which actually considered india's highest civilian honor and also for dr b r ambedkar here in the year 1990 after his death the award has been conferred whose government has declared the holiday of ambedkar jayanti what's your question naini
Yes, Indian government has decided as an holiday, which is on 14th April, uh, that is since 2015. Yes. Next, let me move to the next concept called books and authors. Here comes to Indian author who is known as Prem Rawat. Recently, Prem Rawat in Mumbai has launched a particular book which is titled as Hear Yourself. See here, whenever you people coming across these type of books and authors, just as make a habit of reading the books and novels. And here comes to the book called Hear Yourself. Here, this particular book actually focuses on which is all about for the people understanding about their own potentials and also help them to develop their better self-understandings. And also, how to find the peace in this noisy world, you can come to know by this particular book. Actually, the author describes what does he has, uh, what does Prem Rawat actually describes in this particular book. And by doing, by going through this particular book called, which is all about Hear Yourself, is here, it, is, it has been authored by Prem Rawat. And recently, it has been launched in Mumbai. And also, you need to consider, this is a New York Times bestseller book, is already available in 58 countries, which is in, and also in, five languages this book has been published so just whenever you will be free just go through these types of books and also make a habit of book reading that it can be helpful for you that means whenever you will be feeling stressed regarding your preparation time so that for some times or else you can consider as a, that is regarding the habit called book reading are you clear and certain books called like hear yourself which is all about to knowing about their potential so this is a particular book which was authored by Prem Rawat and then moving to the concept called as a general concept regarding books and authors you need to concentrate according to your examination point of view you have to concentrate the title of the book author of the book and what does the author describes in that book these were the three important areas you need to know regarding your examination are you clear exam point of view you have to consider these are the key focused areas I hope that now you were clear with this concept let me move into the practice questions everyone get ready Everyone get ready. All you have to, yes, as I have informed in the previous session itself, regarding the questions can be raised on the concept static GK call, which is all about national parks. So here, I'll be going to discuss the three formats in this particular session, how the questions can be raised, the concept called static GK of national parks. So everyone try to answer for the question here. Yes, here comes the first question regarding the national park is Pin Valley National Park is located in which state of India? If we move to the options, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab or Gujarat. Try to mention your exact answer, your time starts now, which is all about Pin Valley National Park located in which of the following state in India. Here the first format is the have given the national park name but the question is all about the state name in India. Are you clear? This is the first format you need to note down regarding national parks. Yes, Srinivas HP Himachal Pradesh, Mahesh option A, Ramakrishna option A, Nagaraju option A, Suhan Himachal Pradesh, Divya option A, Anil Kumar option A, Prashant Reddy option A. Yes, Pinwali National Park is located in which of the following states in India? Prashant option A, Sirisha option A, okay. Prasanna option A. All about Pin Valley National Park. Try to share these live sessions with your friends so that they can also get benefited even through these live sessions because you people can answer for the questions. Yes, these were the comments can I expect or some more can I expect regarding the question called Pin Valley National Park. Suhan established in 1958. And then here comes to all about Pin Valley National Park is located in Himachal Pradesh. Try to correct your answer if any of you have mentioned wrong. 
but all of you have mentioned exact and perfect answer pin valley national park is in himachal pradesh which is in the district of within the lahal and spiti district of himachal pradesh so here it is all about the location and also you can consider here with its actually here it is having a significant animals including what snow leopard and also the siberian ibex so even this is actually natural habitat for number of endangered animals even including the snow leopard too yes it is a part of cold desert and all, as i have just mentioned here this is a snow laden unexplored higher reaches and also the slopes so it has been recognized as in national park within the district of spiti district which is in himachal pradesh i now let us look into the second format of question which is all about which of the following park is located in jammu and kashmir once go through the options dachigam national park rajaji national park jim corbett national park or nameri national park try to mention your answer in the comment section this is second format question as i have discussed that the first format is national park the name they'll be mentioning the question is all about the state and the location based here the location they have given like jammu and kashmir the question is all about the name of the national park suhan option a ramakrishna option a Yes, those are Suhan. Yes, are you from Jammu and Kashmir? Okay, fine and good. Okay, try to mention even all other national parks and their states too in the comment section. If you were done with the question call regarding Jammu and Kashmir National Park and go through the other options and try to mention their locations too. whoever has done with this question try to go for the other question which is all about try each and every other options were there right so uh, try to mention the other options locations too suppose here it is like nameri national park then try to mention the location of nameri national park and rajaji national park even including the other options too first but let me know how many of you will answer perfectly sirisha option c in jammu and kashmir what is which of the following park is located suhan option a akanksha option a jim corbett uttarakhand okay next tirupati option a mansa rajaji national park is in uttarakhand mansa jim corbett national park is in uttarakhand try to go through each and every option not only jim corbett and as well as raja ji even the other options were there right once you go through even the other options too and let me check how many of you were perfect and crystal clear with the concept called national parks pavitra himachal pradesh yes let me reveal the answer here in jammu and kashmir dachigam national park here you have to consider and this is your answer then moving to the other options rajaji and jim corbett were in uttarakhand and then moving to nameri national park is in the state of assam just try to make down the list of all the national parks and their locations too yes prashant you are fine and good okay now meri national park is in assam only one of you have mentioned because major of you have mentioned only about rajaji and jim corbett because these were the two previous year questions i think right so that you were perfect everyone and even try to go through the nameri national park which is in the state of assam and here moving to the park called which is in jammu and kashmir is dashigam national park here the name has been considered by the 10 villages which were located in jammu and kashmir so these were the 10 villages which actually uh, you can consider here they were moved this to create the national park called dachigam national park so the 10 village has cooperated so these 10 villages names has been considered and also declared the name called dachigam national park in jammu and kashmir so here the name has a significance which actually derived and simply stands for the 10 villages okay now let me move to the next question so here comes to the concept already we have done in the session regarding current affairs so here comes to recently which organization has tested this pinaka mk1 enhanced rocket system successfully 
And if we move to the options DRDO, HAL, ISRO, Indian Army or else both A and B. Try to mention co the, co the comment section exact answer which is all about Pinaka MK1 enhanced rocket system. Recently it has been kind of test fire by certain organizations. So try to go through the options in detail. S Suhan DRDO, Anil Kumar option A and B. And let me check how many of you were correct with this concept. So Divya DRDO. Mansa option E. If you were unaware about this particular concept, once you go to the previous session and try to answer because I'll be going to leave this question for you people because already the explained questions also if you were mentioning the wrong answers so that I'm not able to give you the explanation in the repeated way. Are you clear? Because in the session itself while I'm doing the descriptive concept I'll be focusing on the examination point of view and also key focused areas I'll be repeating in the session. So try to listen those and if one that means if today I'll be going to leave this question for you people just try to mention the exam exact answer even the same question I'll be going to display in the next session I'll check how many of you will answer perfectly without any miss committing any single mistake too because this is not a new concept see if you are mentioning any wrong answer regarding the new concept it is fine and good but what are the concept already I have discussed in the previous session and the same mistake you people were committing so where is the lagging point either from your side or from my side Slakshmi a both D. Defense of Research and Development Organization, Divya. I will be leaving this particular question for you people. Try to think this. If you were unaware about this concept, once you go through the previous session and then tomorrow the same question I will be displaying, you people need to answer perfectly. So today I am not going to reveal this. Yes, just make it correct regarding the option E also, both A and D here, not B. Just make it correct. DRDO, HAL, ISRO, Indian Army and moving to the option E is both A and D. Once you go to the options clearly, at least try to mention the organization names. Are you clear? Yes, let me move to the next concept because as that is a question from current office, so you people need to answer in the next day also, I will be displaying the same question. Let me check how many of you will answer. And then, here comes to the question is all about which among the following pairs is correctly matched with the respective to their locations. So, this is the third format of question regarding the national parks, the question can be raised here. Are you clear everyone? Which is all about based on third format is even they will be giving the location and as well as the national park name. So, they will be raising the question is try to opt the correct pair based on the location as well as national park. If it is correct, then you have to choose it. Once you go through the options everyone, yes, here comes to Amnaga Tiger Reserve Bihar, Valmiki National Park Bihar, Palmo National Park Andhra Pradesh or else Namdhapa National Park Uttar Pradesh. Try to mention the exact answer which is correctly matched. So that now I can come to know if you were perfect with the national park concept or not. Now I can decide how many of you were perfect with this particular answer. Santosh option B, Mansa option B, Prashant option B, Valmiki National Park in Bihar, Lakshmi option E, Yes, let me check because the third format of question you need to consider here. Regarding national park, the first two formats we have done like the state name and the national park name, the two were considered. And the third format is even the examiner will be giving national park name and as well as state name. But you have to identify whether the location and the national park name is correct or not. Whether they have paid correctly or not. Vijay Kumar option B, Srinivas option B, Sahana Option B, Nivedita, A and B. Sirisha, Option B. Sahiti, Option B. Pavan Kumar, Option B. 
which is all about the location, whether the national park name and the location were matched correctly or not. Snamdapa is in Arnachal Pradesh. Okay. Charan Yadav option A. Either the question, either your answer may be wrong or right, but at least make a habit of answering the questions. So that at your point of your examination, so that you will be perfect and the phobia can be removed from you, like while you are looking at the questions. Are you clear everyone? Just try to answer for the questions, either it may be correct or wrong. Yes, here comes to your answer is Valmiki National Park, which is situated in Bihar. And then. Let me move to the next question. National Safe Motherhood Day in India celebrates on which of the following date? 8th April, 9th April, 10th April or 11th of April. Even I will be giving a clue here. Actually, on the following certain date, even there is a birth anniversary of Kasturi Bha Gandhi, who is the wife of Mahatma Gandhi. Just at least try to mention with this clue, the birth anniversary of Kasturi Bha Gandhi is on which of the following date. So that particular date has been considered even for celebrating this National Safe Motherhood Day. And then moving to the concept here regarding National Safe Motherhood Day, the overall objective is to all above to provide the adequate access and the services for the woman and also regarding the three stages of pregnancy, motherhood and as well as postnatal. So to give the particular services and the safe services for the woman, this day is celebrated. And also regarding worldwide, India is the first country to make a decision to celebrate National Safe Motherhood Day. This is one of the significance of India regarding an important day. And try to mention comment section all about the following date. Hi, some of you have regarding Yadaya. Yes, hi Yadaya. But just try to join the session at 4.30 p.m. Live interactive session will be started at 4.30 p.m. every day. Try to join on time so that you can you cannot miss any concept in the session akanksha pavan kumar option d sirisha option d sahana option d charan yadav option d lakshmi 11th april mansa 11th suhan 11th april santosh 11th april yes vijay kumar 11th april Okay, fine and good. Here your answer is National Safe Motherhood Day observed in India on 11th of April every year. So Mahesh option C. Try to make it correct Mahesh. It is actually option D. On 11th April in India, National Safe Motherhood Day will be celebrated every year. Snavin, 11th April. Bakya Lakshmi, 11th April. Yes. Let me move to the next question here, which is all about name the renowned Assamese poet who has won 56th Gnanpith Award. And then, as we have discussed in the session itself, Gnanpith Awards, which were given for the persons who were, whose contributions is towards the literature of India. So here, the persons can be chosen and also here, the Gnanpith Awards used to give. And here comes to 56th Gnanpith Award. Here it is recently, the SMS poet has won. If you can move to the options, Balachindra Nemedi or else Damodar Mazo, Raghuver Choudhury or Nilmani Pok. Try to mention your answer. Nivedita option B, Suhan option D. Even I'll be giving a clue here. The person is from the state of Assam. He is the third person. Are you clear to receive the Gnanpith Award? towards the contribution regarding Indian literature. Santosh, Neelmani Pokhan, Naveen, option D, Prashant, option D, Akanksha, option D, Mansa, Neelmani Pokhan. At least with the clue, try to remember as I have even discussed, he is the, th the, th the person is a third person even as from the Assam. Right? Even previously the two persons already received Nanpith award from the state of Assam. Santosh, 57th, Damodar Maus, yes, okay, very good. Hemraj, option D, Anil Kumar, Neelman Pukan, 57th given for Indian literature. Nagaraju, option B, Sahitya, option D, Sirisha, option B. Okay, now I'll be going to re reveal the answer. Major of you have mentioned perfect answer, but some of you have mentioned regarding option B, right? 
So try to focus here 56th Gnanpit award, not 57th Gnanpit award. Some of you have mentioned I think so in confusion or what or else if you were not perfect about the concept. Once you go to the previous sessions, I already have done with the concept here regarding the Gnanpit awards. This will be given for the persons whose contributions is towards the Indian literature. And even from the state of Assam, here the person called Nilmani Pukan has been announced and also for receiving the award called 56th Gnanpit award. Right? Yes, 57th Gnanpit award is from which is for Damodar Mouse. Yeah, fine and good Suhan, Naveen, even you were concentrating and following the classes regularly, right? Yes. And now, let me move to the next question. The import of gold in India has been rose by 33.34 percentage, but regarding the dollars, what is the amount and numerical areas you have to concentrate, which is the account of higher demand in 2021 to 22. Even by considering and comparing with 2022 to 2021 year, there is an increment of 33.34 percentage. And also, even in billion dollars, there is actually the increment of approximately 10.14 billion dollars. Just at least with this clue, try to mention the numerical concept exactly. Regarding 2021 to 22, what is the option? So, if you can move here, 29.12 billion, 37.29 billion dollars, 46.14 billions, or else 74.24 billions. Yes, Tirupati option B, Sushma option C, Mahesh option B. As even I have discussed, right, regarding the economic concepts, you need to focus on the numerical areas. Maximum, there is no doubt, for sure, the questions can be raised from economy and even including ranks and reports, the areas you have to expect is the numerical concepts. Are you clear? From the numerical concepts, the questions can be raised based on these particular areas. Here comes to all about the amount, which is Mansa, 74.24 billions. Prashant option C. Divya option C, Nagaraju option C. Let me check how many of you were perfect even with the numerical areas. 55.5 billion I think. Suhan, have you listened the previous class or not? Why there is a doubt? Even we have discussed that significance also regarding India under the category of gold consumer. Under which position India stands? India stands and also places in the second position that is the world's second biggest gold consumer is India. First biggest gold consumer is China. After China, India stands in second position regarding the gold consumer. Yes, Lakshmi, very good. Second is India. Sahitya option C. And now let me reveal your answer is all about 46.14 billion dollars. Previous, in the year, past year it is nearly 36.18 billion approximately it is. So, there is an increment of 10.14 billion dollars. So, finally, 2021 to 22, there is an increment of 46.14 billion dollars. So, this is your answer. Yes, Divya, India is the sec world's second biggest gold consumer. Yes, very good. And now, let me move to the next question. As we have done with this particular concept all about who among the following will take India's G20 chief coordinator. As we have discussed in the previous session, at least by mentioning the clue, I hope that you people will answer perfectly. The person is India's foreign secretary and this person will be going to retire on April 30 of 2022. So, after the retirement from as in position of foreign secretary and now the person has been decided which is to take the charge as all about India's G20 chief coordinator group of 20 countries. And here coming to the scenario is all about the question is name of the person who will be going to take the charge. And even here comes to try to eliminate the option B because Vinay Mohan Quatra will be going to appoint in the year 2022 after the retirement of the present person who is acting as foreign secretary. Are you clear? And now choose your correct answer. Divya, where you have made a mistake, Vinay Mohan Quatra is the person who will be going to take the position as foreign secretary, not going to retire. Here my clue and the hint is all about now the present person is acting in the position as foreign secretary. He will be going to retire on April 30. 
and after this retirement the person has been chosen for india's g20 chief coordinator already we have done in the session once try to go through the concept yes option d vijay kumar suhan nagaraju navin santosh harshvardhan shringala akanksha option d nivedita option c lakshmi option d yes charan option d sahitya option d yes let me look here and give your answer harshvardhana shringala will be going to take charge as india's g20 chief coordinator as we have done now presently he is currently acting in the position of foreign secretary but in the month of april at the end of this month on 30th april he'll be going to retire as from the, and, and also going to take the charge as india's g20 chief coordinator and will be going to take place as foreign secretary is vinay mohan quatra are you clear some of you have mentioned the wrong answer here you have mentioned instead of option b vinay mohan quatra is a foreign secretary not he'll be going to take charges india's g20 chief coordinator are you perfect with the question here and also the answer nivedita option c not option c just make it correct harshvardhana shringala will be going to take charge as india's g20 chief coordinator are you clear everyone i hope that you were getting the concepts right regarding the practice questions and as well as descriptive concepts yes daily at 4:30 pm i'll be coming into the live so just you people try to interact with me and also moving to your next day question that means the concept from static part is again the same thing regarding national park and if possible even i'll be giving the questions based on the tiger reserves also so just go, and also including the wildlife sanctuaries are you clear based on national parks tiger reserves and wildlife sanctuaries tomorrow i'll be writing the questions in our practice session so everyone get ready and be ready to answer for the questions based on including the static part and also the current affairs concept whatever i'll be discussing in the session right Thank you everyone we'll be meeting in the next session with some other concepts until that stay tuned stay safe and stay home